All right, back at the garage. I think I've decided I'm definitely gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna try to move this down or if I'm just gonna cut it off flush or what. I don't know yet. Place a piece of one inch flat stock across here and I've marked where it falls. And if we take our straight edge and we put it up against the back side of the body mount channel, you can see there's that one eighth again. But I think I'm gonna cut on this line, not one eighth. I notched this out, and I was able to get my straight in in here a little better, and put my line down. And I've got a little grinding wheel. I mean, excuse me, a little cutoff wheel put onto a carriage bolt and a drill, and I was able to notch this out in the corner here. And the cutoff wheel on that carriage bolt in the drill did not uh, did not cut this very fast, but it did a good job. And now that I've got this out of here, we can see we got a little bit of rust there to deal with. And it's nice and flat across there. And I'm just gonna go put a flat piece right across in here. Maybe I'll do uh, something with this. Kind of put this lip back on here. So when I put a piece of plate on here, you know, full width with this little piece, yeah, I'll be able to plug weld right to this, give it a little more stiffness. Okay, I got my pattern kind of taking shape here, and this is going to be uh, the top here. I'm going to fold this over so I can uh, tack weld it from the top of the body. And I transferred some lines over here so I can see what I'm doing. Now this little press brake is too small for this gauge material, but. As long as you're not doing too far, or a bend that's too long, it usually doesn't do too bad. Alright, I got that wiggled up in place in here. And next one I'm going to do is I'm going to make another bend to calm down on this side right here and I put my sharpie up in there made a line so I can see it here we can see that panel put in place and how it's going to interact with the, uh, this end cap here in the end um, what I think I'm going to do is when I weld this all up I'm going to weld in the piece of strapping here, just like I did there. And that way there, what I'm hoping that does is that inner uh, kick panel on the cowl, that'll give it uh, a good mounting place into the body mount channel, and that way there it'll kind of retain some of the stock um, stiffness or rigidity, whatever you want to call it. Because if I was to just leave it open like that, I think it would give it a little bit more... Uh, room to flex around just being that this is just a little thin sheet mount it doesn't go right all the way down to the body mount channel but doing it like this that'll that'll give it all the uh, strength there characteristics that it had stock I think are close enough anyway all these pieces put in place and you kind of see what I had envisioned here and I'm really thinking that's what I'm gonna end up doing I'm really liking the way that looks I like how it's gonna keep all that grit and stuff off the uh, the floor and everything here. It's gonna be a lot easier to keep clean. Of course, in this place here, I'll, I'll have to extend it out to the end. This is just what I had laying in the corner.